My name is Lily Raymond. I am the first year experience coordinator and sociology librarian at UNT Libraries. So my name is Shabazz Brown and I serve as a coordinator in the Multicultural Center where I oversee our black identifying programs and initiatives such as our Black History Month events. Celebrating Black History Month means highlighting all of the cultural experiences that African American and black identifying people have had. It is so important for people to understand that being black is not the only thing that we are. We are creatives. We are identifying as part of the queer and trans community. We might identify as various um, socioeconomic backgrounds, identifying as various career fields, so on and so forth. I think it's all encompassing. It's not just focusing on one piece and all of the intersections that come with being black as well. As a sociology librarian, I always try to get the best books and resources for race and ethnicity, gender, all of that, but we don't always ask students for their feedback or student orgs. What I really wanted to do was not only look for resources we have, but also seek feedback on other items that we might need to be um, purchasing. One of the things that she does is she always comes to us and she knows that we work very closely with our Black Student Union and other Black identifying organizations on campus, so she's always making sure that she she is allowing us to speak into some of those resources that are provided. I look for essential readings, I do author searches, and I try to find resources that are not only written about um, black and African American identifying people in the world, but also written by. The Ain't I a Woman uh, book and series is, for me personally, um, I identify closely with. The feminist movement actually was very exclusive and originally excluded black women, and so Bell Hooks talks specifically specifically about the experiences of being inclusive and when we are talking about feminism and womanism, how we should make sure that we are including all women and not just elite, not just wealthy, not just white identifying or affluent women. I think that's a really good resource and that's one I'm excited for users to talk about and, and look into. So you can use the subject headings to see what we have in our collection. It could be movies, it could be books, it could be ebooks. In addition, I have a section for different events going on on campus, I like to cross promote what the Multicultural Center is doing all in one spot. And I've also separated it by some different topics. So you may be looking at historical research, you might wanna look at arts. I just hope that people explore these resources and learn about other people's stories.